Okay, Desert Bearhawk fans and Facebook page likers. I posted earlier about doing some videos of what I do in the shop so you guys can see kind of what's the, the goal here and what, uh, what this whole project is about. Well, I thought I'd start off by showing you the blueprints for the airplane I'm building and then I'm going to show you some of the tools that I'm using to build the nose ribs that I had to fabricate just to build the parts and then I thought I would take you through the process of building the parts. So I'll do this in um, three or four videos um, so they don't go too long and uh, because I'll post them to YouTube as well and I don't want them to go over 10 minutes the, the YouTube guys will kick them back. So anyways here we have the plans for the Barrows Bearhawk 4 place uh, home built aircraft, experimental aircraft. It's a high wing aircraft, conventional landing gear, um, uses pretty much conventional construction. It's a chromoly tubing frame. Uh, it's all aluminum wing. Um, the flying surfaces, the ailerons, flaps, horizontal and vertical stabs, elevators and rudders are all fabric covered along with the fuselage. Um, fiberglass aluminum and fiberglass cowling arrangement. We use a uh, commercially available fiberglass bowl from like a Pitts and then we make our own uh, boot cowl and cowling out of aluminum. But everything is handmade in the shop. Uh, there are parts available to be purchased from a company that makes um, kits. You can buy complete kits or sub-assemblies of the kit. But in the true um, fashion of home building, I'm going to fabricate every part on the aircraft by hand myself so there'll be no cheating. At least that's what I say now when I'm two years into it, we'll see what I say. But anyways, these are the plans. So this is the cover page. It just gives you some basic aircraft information, shows you some lines. Um, you might recognize this graphic right here as it's part of the web page as well. Um, and then it goes right into information. This is the wing rib configuration and wing configuration information. There is a ton of notes in here. They all relate to each other. You have to reference other drawings. It'll tell you where to do that. It tells you what the scale is and so on and so forth. Um, I started off by building the nose ribs, which are all these ribs right here. They sit in front of the main spar. And I've been building tools and tooling to manufacture these ribs. And now I've manufactured most of them. Um, what you'll notice here is that, well, you probably can't see it in the video, but the ribs at these stations all the way to here are a quarter inch shorter than full size. These ribs here are an eighth inch shorter than full size. And then these last three ribs are full size. And then, of course, there's a complete one piece tip rib here that is obviously full size. So, information in here as to layout where they sit on the aircraft, on the spar, and how they go into the assembly. Then we go into multiple pages of drawings. Um, the way I have this flip book, you probably can't see the, the main spar drawing, but this is the aft spar drawing. It's not unlike the main spar drawing. There's a lot of detail in here. And when you're looking at these drawings, you're looking at the front side of the drawing, or the front side of the spar. But then there's also information that is on here that tells you about the back side of the spar that you can't see. So you kind of got to use your imagination to figure that out. So moving along, getting to the pertinent stuff that we're going to talk about today, um, here are the ribs. Here's the nose rib, the back rib, and the center rib, or the mid rib as I've been calling it online. Um, each one of these here are represented in a scaled fashion, and it'll tell you what the scale is on the drawing. It says scale is one half. So this rib right here is approximately one half, 50% of its normal size as is this and this. So what I've been focusing on and what I've been doing is building the tooling to manufacture this rib and this rib. I have done no tooling for these ribs yet. Or the pocket ribs, aileron ribs, flap ribs, and a thousand other different things I keep finding out. I swear I think people come in in the middle of the night and add stuff to the drawing. I just find stuff every day that I didn't see the day before. So I've probably been through these drawings for 30 or 40 hours just just looking and studying these drawings. So what I'm going to be talking about today is a tooling that I made to produce 
these nose ribs. But the technique and the tooling that I use here is going to be exactly the same as the tooling I used for here, here, and any other subsequent ribs. Let's see if we get one to come up. Uh, yes, here's a, here's a, uh, let's see, that is a flap nose rib right there. Um, here's a flap trailing rib. Um, some more information about the flaps and how they're constructed. And uh, on the next drawing, this is the next drawing, uh, drawing number 10, which I don't think you can see on camera, gives more information about the aileron uh, nose and pocket ribs and so on and so forth. Anyways, let's, uh, let's move back to the area we're going to focus on today. And let's see if I can make some sense of some of this for people who are following this. I know lots of people are following it just because I sent them an invitation and they might not fully understand what we're doing here. So we're going to talk about the method to produce this rib right here and in the next short video I will talk about all the tooling I made and all the tools I used to make this rib.